Hi, Don Campbell here from Expand to Web, and I get a lot of questions about uh, from people who want to move WordPress. They want to move the website uh, to a different uh, directory. So, for example, here I've got a, a WordPress site installed on this domain designertoweb.com in a directory called WP. And what if I wanted to move this to the root of the domain? So it was just designertoweb.com. Because right now, if I go there, um, I have to type the WP in to get to the website. Well, it turns out it's not that hard to do uh, if you know a few uh, steps, a few things you need to, to manage. And first of all, you need to go into WordPress and you need to tell WordPress that you are going to move the site. So there's a couple of places you need to update it. You need to go change it here in the website URL and the site address URL. So you need to change both of these to .com. You need to change both of these to remove the directory. And this will update the entries in the WordPress database. Okay, so I'm going to save changes. This is going to mess up my site temporarily when I do this. So you just definitely want to back things up first. All right, so what I'm going to do now is move the files over. Um, and so here you see I'm on my FTP client and I'm on my hosting provider. I'm looking at the directory where my domain is pointing, right? And underneath there is the WP folder, which is why I have to type WP in order to get to the site. What I'm going to do is go into here and select all those files and say move, move to parent, okay? And when I do that, it's going to move, copy all those files up one level so that they're right here at designer to web now. And since we've updated the WordPress database, things should come back. All right, so now my site comes up, right? And I'm going to go into the admin. And we're going to log in. Great, so now we're logged in. And you can see that if I go to the website, it all comes up fine. Now we do have a little bit of a challenge though because some of the images are going to be broken. And the reason for that is, let me go to a blog post and show you what I'm talking about. So there was an image in this blog post here and the, it's broken. And the reason is, let me just kind of pull this up and show you. I'm going to copy the image URL and put it in the browser right here. And can you see this? It's got that WP directory in there still. So what's happening is the image was uploaded into my content folder and in the WordPress database, it's got a link to this image, but it still has the folder in it. And we've got to fix that. And if you've got a lot of images on your site, that could be some work. But fortunately, there's a really nice plugin available. I'm going to go show you this plugin. It's called Update URLs. And you can search for this plugin uh, and find it very quickly and install it. And you only need to use it one time. You go in and you can tell it, uh, I'm going to activate it. Okay, and this plugin is going to allow me to, it's going to crawl through my database, right? And then it's going to go and make changes for me. So I'm going to scroll down to the settings area and you'll see the settings uh, panel for update URLs down there. And I'll say, yes, I want to upload everything. And what I'm going to do is type in my old URL, right? So here's the URL. It's designer to web.com slash WP. And I want to change that to just designer to web.com. Okay. So I'm going to remove the WP in every case. And then it's going to um, update all of the URLs in the document. It's going to give me a little report and say, okay, the URLs have been updated. So if I go back to my page and refresh, sometimes you have to hold the shift key down to refresh your cache. But now look, the image is fine, right? And that's because if I go back again and copy the image URL and look at this again, and paste it, you'll see that it's removed the WP in there and everything's set. So that you that um plugin is really slick. You can go back now and, and you know deactivate it and delete it if you want, because you only really need it to do that one major update. So if you've got tons of images on your site, it saves you a lot of time. You don't have to go manually and update all those URLs. So that's it. Really it's uh, pretty straightforward. If you want to move your site, it's not hard. Once you've done it once or twice, it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, Give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.